Hey, good morning. It's really cold outside and as a result, I'm staying in for the time being. However, a lot of you have been sending me questions concerning the black flags that you're seeing at the US Capitol and a lot of tour buses that are around the Capitol. You wanna know what's going on. And in keeping with this channel's general idea, I'm gonna show you, I'm not gonna tell you. So I went up to the Capitol yesterday and I looked through my archives over the last few days and I found all these clips to show you what's going on. On November 7th, 2019, President Trump signed the National POW MIA Flag Act. This act mandated that at certain federal buildings, such as the White House, the Capitol, national cemeteries like Arlington, even the US Post Office, the POW MIA flag would be permanently flown, just as the American flag is flown. Prior to this, the POW MIA flag was only flown about six times a year and sometimes it wasn't always done so uh, fully in compliance with the regulations. Now, the National POW MIA Act, which is now Public Law 11667, passed the U.S. Congress nearly unanimously and was signed by President Trump in the presence of a number of veterans in the White House last year. Or, I guess that was two years ago. So if you have a national cemetery near you or even a U.S. post office, you might want to go out and see, are they also flying the POW MIA flag? Because they're supposed to be. Of course, with the post office, the flag may have been delayed in the mail. The second question I've been getting from you guys concerns buses up at the U.S. Capitol. There have been a lot of scenes where people are showing photographs of tour buses up at the U.S. Capitol, only there's no tourists right now. Now, normally, non-COVID times, the U.S. Capitol is with buses. In fact, they have special bus parking areas, bus lanes. It's absolutely crazy. But now with no tourists, the only people I've seen using the buses are National Guard troops. It seems that the National Guard is using these buses as a shuttle service. So I've gone back in my old videos, back to the DC National Guard Armory, back to the US Capitol, and I found some videos of these buses making their way around the Capitol grounds. So we're down at the National Guard Armory in DC where buses and buses are loading troops to deploy. I told you I should have bought fencing. I'd be a billionaire right now. So over there you can see all the buses. These buses run like a shuttle service basically to and from the Capitol building uh, bringing troops in to replace troops that have been on on patrol all night I think they're doing eight hour shifts though originally they were doing 12 hour shifts so this is the DC National Guard Armory we're about 15 blocks from the US Capitol so this is sort of their operations base I guess where everything is going huh, interesting so this is the DC Convention Center down by the White House and these are where the buses are this is the gate. And it goes down. see some more buses outside of Union Station making drop off. They even have signs on the front telling which routes, which hotels they're going to, which units are supposed to be in the buses. And 
That's the old RFK Stadium. And it's right next to the DC National Guard Armory, which is where you see lots and lots of buses. These buses are piled up over here. There you can see a whole bunch of the orange buses lined up. That's where they go to drop off the soldiers. And uh, that's where they go to pick them up later in the day. In closing, a little bit of a caveat. Is every single bus I see filled with National Guard troops? No, I, I can't possibly know that. I just know that a lot of the buses I see are used filled with National Guard troops and they go in and out of the US Capitol. Uh, in addition, is every single flag that's flying a POW MIA flag? No, of course not. If you guys are seeing flags somewhere, please let me know. I will walk by and I'll try to show them to you. I know on the live webcam that's uh, currently showing the US Capitol, you see a little flag fly every now and then when the wind blows. From what I can tell, that looks like the US Teamsters flag because that webcam is located on top of Teamsters headquarters and the flag, well, it kind of looks like the Teamsters flag, but you guys can be the judge. Anyway, keep your questions coming. As I've always pointed out on my channel, I'm not here to tell you anything. I'll just show you what I see and I'll leave it up to you to make your own decision. I think a lot of you are tired of being told what to hear and none of you certainly want to be told what to think from a guy who you know just goes for walks. <laughs> Come on, I'll rather show you, not tell. And we'll keep that up. Oh, hey, by the way, update on yesterday's video. If you were watching yesterday, we saw that they were taking down the razor wire at the US Capitol fence. Everybody in Washington was like, yay, great. Then it came out later in the day, oh, well, we're just gonna move the razor wire from the fence on one side of the street to a new fence we're putting on the other side of the street. And most of the people in Washington were quite deflated to hear that. You know, when I worked in government, there was an old saying, before you throw out that document, why don't you make sure you make a copy of it, just to be sure? That's kind of the same thing. Before you take down the fence, put up another one. Anyway, hopefully we'll get back on the Capitol ground soon. All right, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.